go. We're going to start section five off with Denner Barbosa aboard Happy Camper. Then it's Jess Lockwood's turn to try to get something done against Fist City, working our way all the way down to Cody Teal against Brahma Boots Chrome. Time to check in with Jesse Byrne yet again for his Matador pick of the pen. Well, guys, I'm down here with a Canadian bull, Happy Camper. He comes from Josh Breeze and the gang up north with two bit bucking bulls. Denner and this bull have history. We go back to the finals a year before. Denner's 87 and a half points on this bull. He really hasn't been ridden since, but one time Zane Lambert sticks him for a 90 plus score. So look for a, a score that's, uh, I think, going to put Denner in contention for a round win today. Jesse mentioned the success stories, Mac, against this bull, but this bull is also taking care of some of Canada's best, has a great run. Really good run up there, and you know, Dinner, though, has got to be pretty excited about this. this Dinner's not had the finals that he's wanted to have, or that I think he can have, what he's capable of doing. And this, knowing he got to pick a bull that he's been successful against before, that could go a long ways for dinner getting things turned around because if he can get on a roll, this guy can really ride. Hey, J-Dub, how do you like Happy Camper's skill set? I, I really like him. He's a big, strong boy. He's stout. You look at the, the width he has across his back. He's got a good seat on him. He's got good power. He's going to turn back. He's got good intensity. Everything, is the, this is the perfect storm for Denner to get one on the board here. And this is a young guy that I really look forward to. When he gets past a couple of these nagging injuries, look for him to be in that top tier three. Ty, J-Dub just listed him, right? But we always talk in other sports, well, baseball specifically, right, about being a five-tool player. He just listed off all the attributes of a great ball. Yeah, and, you know, that's what the... That's what the judges are looking for. Those, those are the things, and, and that's something that I think you always need to take into account whenever you're in a draft situation. And you got to remember, it's a, it's a judge sport. You've got to find a way to stand out from the rest. Well, and Kate just mentioned it during the intermission. It's going to come down to points, probably, that separate the top riders overall that then affect the bonus point situation based on the places. So absolutely, if you've got a chance, Mac, you always say this, right? If you've got a chance to pick a bull that you know is going to get you a point or two more, it's your job to pick that bull. Yeah, it's all what you want to get out of this sport. You know, if you want to try and win as much money and accolades as possible, the draft gives you the perfect opportunity to do just that. <laughs> I'm just laughing because, Ty, I don't know if you caught Mac's face, right, when he said that. If you're going to try to win, I mean, it, it almost seems like sometimes you need to throw that word try in there. I mean, it is sports, right? You're just supposed to win. That's what you're supposed to want to do. Yeah, I, you know, and that's the thing. You if, you got to believe in yourself first. And, and, you know, this sport is you are against all odds in this sport every time. You know, even... even even when you're in this pen of, you know, th these are what we're going to call the pretty nice bulls, and, and, you know, they're bucking off most of them. That, that's how this sport goes, and it takes quite an athlete to do this sport, to do something that's this dangerous and, and something that you're this against the odds every time and learn how to be confident within it. Danner's on the clock, down to 20. There's the nine. We're going to have to go back to the video and look at that, right, Mac? Because where in the world did that go wrong for Denner Barbosa? I mean, Happy Camper couldn't have cooperated, it seemed, anymore. Yeah, and Denner's going to want to challenge this if they're not already looking at this under time because they had the stop clock stopped at 7.58. And Cody, from, from my angle, I didn't see him touch him with his free arm. I know his chest might have hit him. I, di I didn't see him touch him on live time, but one of them apparently thinks they did, and it could have been down there by his leg. It could have been before this part of it. He hasn't touched him, in my opinion, at all there. And he is trying to stay out of there. I think that might be a great challenge, I would right, look Cody? At it. Well, I think it could be a great challenge unless, he, unless the slap occurred earlier than this. So you can't touch your body or your equipment with your free hand. So he hasn't yet. I don't, uh, on that angle there, he hasn't touched anything. 
The judges, and specifically Jeff Shear, the replay judge, agreed with you, Cody, 84 and three quarters. He gets his first score of the week. The first jump is where it looked close to me. Watch right here. We'd have to see that from behind the shoot camera. Take a look right here. Right there, oh. he touched him. Oh. He touched him the very first jump. He gets away with one big time right there. That's plain as day. He was just kind of helping him out of the shoot, yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Getting him going. Well, sometimes you get lucky, right? And if that is 